lymphadenitis causes and treatment lymphadenitis is an infection in one or more lymph nodes which makes them enlarged the lymph nodes may be very painful and symptoms may include chills and fever lymphadenitis means that one or more lymph nodes are swollen typically infection with bacteria viruses or fungi causes lymphadenitis the condition may also mimic other diseases for example mesenteric lymphadenitis inflammation of the lymph nodes in the abdomen may mimic signs of appendicitis swollen lymph nodes may feel hard tender and more noticeable than usual someone with swollen lymph nodes has lymphadenopathy lymphadenopathy is not a disease or illness but it may be a symptom lymphadenitis by contrast means that the lymph nodes have an infection requiring treatment there are distinct conditions Watch on to learn more about lymphadenitis, its causes and treatment. Types Lymphadenitis may be bilateral, affecting lymph nodes on either side of the body. It may cause lymph nodes on either side of the neck to swell. It may also be unilateral, affecting a single lymph node. There are lymph nodes throughout the body, neck, abdomen, chest, armpits and groin. A person is more likely to develop lymphadenitis during or following an infection in a nearby area. For example, having an ear infection or strep throat may lead to lymphadenitis in the cervical lymph nodes of the neck. The infection can also affect other lymph nodes if it enters the bloodstream. Lymphadenitis can typically occur due to the following ear infection, colds, skin infection, dental infection. Acute versus chronic. Doctors may classify lymphadenitis as acute or chronic. Acute lymphadenitis lasts less than two weeks and occurs due to an infection such as strep throat. Chronic lymphadenitis lasts six weeks or longer. It can occur because of a longer term infection such as mononucleosis or in rare cases because of cancer. Subacute lymphadenitis lasts two to six weeks and occurs similarly to chronic lymphadenitis. Causes Lymph nodes contain immune cells that help fight infection. Enlarged lymph nodes typically indicate infection. Lymphadenitis occurs when bacteria, viruses or fungi reach the lymph nodes causing infection. There can, be, can also be swelling and intense pain. Less commonly, tuberculosis and cat scratch disease can lead to lymphadenitis. Sometimes a doctor may not be able to identify the infection that led to lymphadenitis. Symptoms Anyone can develop lymphadenitis. However, children are more likely to experience an infection of the lymph nodes. The main symptom of lymphadenitis is a swollen, very painful lymph node. Other symptoms include fever, chills, feeling sick, redness on the skin over the lymph node visible swelling over the lymph node treatment treatment usually involves antibiotics a person may receive intravenous antibiotics in the hospital a doctor may prescribe a broad spectrum antibiotics such as augmentin as a first line treatment for a wide range of bacteria if a doctor suspects the person has an MRSA infection, they may prescribe clindamycin. A person may also need pain medication. In some cases, the infection may be severe or cause an abscess. Abscesses may spread, cause intense pain or lead to sepsis. 
A doctor may need to surgically drain an abscess. Typically, people may start treatment with oral antibiotics as an outpatient. However, if there is no improvement or the condition worsens, they may need to need to go to the hospital. When lymphadenitis becomes chronic, a person may need additional tests to identify the cause. A doctor may recommend ongoing monitoring or a different course of antibiotics. Can it resolve on its own? Treatment can usually cure lymphadenitis. There is usually no need for incision and drainage unless there is a persistent abscess. After this procedure, the area may still feel a bit firm and can take a while to resolve. Sometimes lymphadenitis may resolve without treatment. This often occurs with mesenteric lymphadenitis, which refers to swollen lymph nodes in the abdomen. Complications Children are more likely to develop complications if they have a fever, have large lymph, lymph nodes, had prior treatment with antibiotics, or younger. If left untreated, lymphadenitis may cause complications. This can include abscess formation, a painful collection of pus, cellulitis, a serious infection in the deeper layers of the skin, sepsis, an infection affecting the bloodstream, other complications associated with drainage surgery, for example, another infection. This list is not exhaustive and other complications may occur with specific forms of the condition.